forehead to forehead for me. Oh, I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to put the sun between them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, stop it, kiss. Stop it, kiss. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that was the shortest kiss ever. Oh, Give each other a kiss. This is probably going to be like the shot that no other... This is it. Yeah, like literally, this is the money shot. Chin up just a little bit. There, just, just like that. Oh, my God. All right, I'm good with the shots. Me too. Let's go get that kindergarten teacher. Ooh, look at that shot. <laughs> look at that head going down tonight in the hotel suite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to this video today so in this video today i'm going to teach you guys how to steal like a pro but first of all make sure you subscribe to the channel guys i'm going to make sure you subscribe to the channel so i'm going to make sure you subscribe to the channel so let me put that right here so stealing shots is the photographer is posing the couple and you're taking video footage while the photographer is, you know, working hard and you just kind of like, you know, taking shots and taking those 10 second, you know, shots, you know, taking Cute. those Love highlight it. shots, those shots that, that are going to make, go. you know, your highlight videos, awesome. those shots yeah, that are going to be like, you know, that are going to make other couples want to book you. So that's stealing shots because you are not really posing the couple. The photographer is doing all the pausing and all the directing and you're just filming, you know. And plus, I'll teach you something later on in this video. But yeah, so that's stealing shots. Why do you want to be stealing shots from photographers? You know, some of you might be like, why would you teach us how to steal shots? Why don't we just get our own shots? Some of you guys are probably pro wedding videographers and you guys are like i don't steal shots i get my own shots or you know the bride's paying me so they know to give me time with the couple so they know that i need time with them so i don't need to steal any shots but i'm going to be giving explanations in certain cases whereby you're going to have no choice but to steal shots from a photographer okay so um, here's the reason why you need to steal shots from photographers. Okay, guys, Let's why go. do you need to steal shots? If you're somebody who's just starting out in the wedding business and you don't know how to pose couples, you know, you're just a new person in the game and you're probably shy, or maybe you didn't do your research and don't know what's going on, kind of like how to, like, what should I do with the couple? It's my time with the couple. What am I going to do with them? What should I do with them? So stealing shots is a good way to go about, you know, building your portfolio. So it's not like, you know, like, don't look at yourself like, oh, you know, they're going to they're gonna be looking at me like I don't know what I'm doing. But if you are a newbie, like, you know, and it's good if you tell the couple that you're just getting started and you're trying to build your portfolio. Because most couples, some couples don't have like, you know, those Hollywood, you know, budgets to pay me, you know, I'm just putting, but they don't have those budgets whereby, okay, we're going to spend a G on a videographer. We're going to spend five Gs, you know, we're going to spend $3,000 so we can get Craig Adams to come and film us, maybe even $10,000 now for this dude. Anyway, so couples don't have that kind of money. So... Um, not everybody has that kind of money, you know, so there's some people that are just like kind of on a tight budget, but they just want a nice wedding and they're maybe willing to pay 500 or maybe willing to pay somebody in college who's learning filmmaking, you know, so they don't really care. They just want their, their moments captured. They just want their ceremony, their I do's captured. So they don't really care much about the highlights or none of this. So, you know, you might get those couples if you're somebody new in the game so you might need to steal shots from maybe a pro photographer 
who's um you know uh taking pictures alongside you who's working alongside you anyway so yeah so if you're a newbie you need to steal shots if you run out of ideas which i do sometimes as a professional i do run out of ideas and trust me every professional everyone who's in the creative area space they're not going to be like oh i just I just shit out ideas. I just shit out ideas. You no, know, like we also do run out of ideas as professionals. So even professionals, when you run out of ideas, it's um, stealing shots from the other person working. You know, the photographer is a good idea. You know, if you run out of ideas, a good idea is just stealing shots. While the photographer is posing the couple, you are stealing the shots. Um, if you if you're not great at staging shots, you can steal shots. Like there are some people who've um, filmed a bunch of weddings, but maybe they're shy. Maybe their personality just doesn't call for somebody who's like an authority figure or a leader. I don't know. Well, some people are just like you know they don't like telling people what to do, or they're kind of like introverted too much to wear by like dude like you know tell us what to do some cup like most couples are like this the first time doing this tell them what to do you know walk you know kiss do this do that and some filmmakers are just kind of like oh i want to just just do whatever you're doing i'll just film bruh you gotta pause the couple because it's your shots you want to get the best shots possible you know these people are not models whereby you can just tell them do what you do and they'll do what they do models do what they do you know models you can just be like do what you do and i'll just capture you know but regular people average people who work a nine to five who are you know in their cubicles or who are nurses and stuff like that they don't know how to pause they don't know this shit so you can't just be like oh do what you do like what do you mean do what we do, you know? You want us to get naked and do what we do? <laughs> but anyway, so, like, you know, so you need, some people don't know how to pose um, brides and grooms, you know? So if you are that kind of person whereby you don't really like posing couples or you don't know, really, or you just don't like doing it, then you don't like stage shots and just like all natural shots, then you can steal shots from the photographer while the photographer is doing all the hard work Sweat and tears, posing this, these people, you know, you can go and just steal those shots. So um, when working with a selfish photographer, um, you know, you can steal shots, you know. So sometimes you work with photographers who like to hold the couple, which means they're greedy with the couple. They like to hold the couple. And sometimes some, some of these photographers, they just look out for their best interest, which I don't blame them. I mean, they want to get their best shot. You know, they they want to provide what they've been paid to do. So you need to look out for you. So some photographers like sometimes um, have telling the couple, oh, let's go do some sunset shots without even like calling you or looking for you. They don't care about you. You know, just put it out. Just think about if you're not working with the photographer, you're not from the same company, they're not going to give a shit about you. So, you know, so you like, you want to steal shots from people, from photographers that are kind of like, you know, that are not giving you the light of day with the couple. So while they're doing their thing, being greedy, being an asshole, you work around them and take those shots. So you steal shots from those asshole um, photographers who don't want to, you know, give you the time of day to do your thing, which they know they should because you're getting paid to be there, you know. Anyway, so also like... um why you need to steal shots i mean just like i always say in my b-roll videos there's no such thing as too much b-roll even if you got your b-roll with a couple and the photographer is doing their thing just get more b-roll just get more you never know what you're gonna like or you never know what the bride or groom gonna do or something that you're gonna like so there's no such thing as too much b-roll so that's why you need to steal shots so let's go to point number Two. So guys, point number two is when do you steal shots? When do you need to steal shots? So this is a quick one. So when do you need to steal shots? So one is when the bride is getting ready and the, the photographer is um, 
you know, taking pictures or maybe uh, the photographer is posing the bride after she's done do um, getting into her dress and stuff like that. And uh, he or she is photographing the bride in her dress, the bride and her bridesmaids, you know, like before the ceremony, like the prepping time, that's a good time to steal shots. The second best time to steal shots is during the bride and groom shots when like after the ceremony and, um, you know, it's time to do the bride and groom photos and the bridesmaids, all that picture stuff, you know, that's a good time to steal shots. I usually don't take footage while the photographer is doing the family shots and stuff like that. Don't do what I do. Okay. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. So I usually take, um, uh, video footage when it's only the bride and groom because that's what I use mainly for the highlight videos okay but it's also good to switch it up and you can do whatever you do but a good time to steal shots is when the photographer is posing just the couple by themselves so just work around the photographer and get shots and then when it's your time to pose the couple and do your thing get those shots as well so that way you get more b-roll and there's no such thing as too much b-roll all right, so yeah, so that's when to steal shots. So number three is how do you steal shots? So just walk around the photographer and just like, you know, walk around the photographer and take shots. Just don't be in their way, just, you know, work around them. And you know, you, you can ask them like, oh, can I, you know, get some shots while you're doing that? Like, you know, take shots, just walk around the photographer, he or she. And um, so like, you know, don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. You know, the photographer knows exactly why you're there. You are there because you're getting paid and you are there to film. So film. So when they see you filming, they're not going to be like, bro, are you filming? Like, mother, I'm here to film this shit. So why are you, why are you asking me? Why am I filming? I'm here to film this event. So I'm going to film, you know? When I film if I want to. Anyways, so yeah, so just 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 film, you know, unless the photographer is like, oh, can you not film? But they're not gonna say that. Why would they say that? Anyways, so um so just film while the photographer takes the pictures, you know, and then when you wanna get in and do your shots or whatever without the flash and stuff, you can get in and tell the photographer, hey, listen, can you turn the flash off? I'm, I'm I wanna take some shots here or whatever, like you know. Get your shots in too, but also steal shots when the photographer is doing their thing because this whole video is about you stealing, robbing those shots from the photographer. So, um, yeah. So act like an amateur even when you are professional because amateurs get sympathy and the photographer won't bitch, you know, won't be a bitch about it. So just act like an amateur. Just be like... Um, you know, just, just act like an amateur, just like, act, act like you, you know, you don't know what you're doing sometimes. Just act like an amateur and you will get, the photographer is not going to bitch, but regardless, they shouldn't bitch about it because you are there to film in the first place. So, you know, what I mean by that is like, don't be too aggressive. You know, when the photographer is posing them, just be respectful and let them do their thing and just be around and wait for your time. Or when you see an opportunity, just go in and be like, oh, can you guys do this? Can you guys do that? Can you um like look this way? Can you walk a little like, you know, just get in, but don't be disrespectful. So act like an amateur, but be taking those shots. Okay. Because of course, in your contract, you should tell the bride and groom that you need time to also capture shots. Right. Right. How to steal shots like a pro. What you need to do, the tips are encourage the photographer. You know, you need to gas them up so they can get more creative while you sit back and record that shit. Perfect. Then are you killing these shots? And then put your flowers. <laughs> like, you know, just encourage the photographer. You know, just give them, just be like, oh, damn, you're really creative. Just like gas them up, you know, like, oh, you're really good, man. Yo, can I get this shot? Yo, you're really good. Like, you know, you're the best. Like, just like encourage the photographer, you know, so that way they can be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like they do their thing, like get all their creative juices out 
while you just like, you know, just squeeze those creative juices out of them and you just get, you just steal those shots. You know, you're just like, damn, that's a good idea, man. You know, bro, I'm, I'm gonna shoot from here. Like, you know, just like gas the photographer so they can get more creative. And that way they're not, they're gonna be like, oh damn, he he's a fan, you know, he's a fan. So they're not gonna, they're gonna be like, oh yeah. They're gonna get a shot and be like, oh, can you wanna get this shot as well? You know, not knowing that this mofo right here is stealing shots, you know, and then later gonna get his own shot. So just like those are tips to like stealing shots without being like noticed, you know what I mean? Just like slick way of like indirectly stealing shots. So just like gas the photographer up. People like being gas, I'm telling you, man. People are like cars, they love that gas. Anyways. Um, 10 second rule works great. All you need is 10 seconds. So like I say, always say, all you need is 10 seconds of B-roll, okay? 10 seconds of B-roll is all you need. And um, that's all you do, just do 10 seconds of the shots and you're good to use that for your highlight video. All right, that's it guys. Okay guys, so build off ideas that the photographer came up with. That's how pros do it. So, you know, be slick with it. Just build off the ideas, just squeeze those juices out of them, those um, creative juices, and then like steal shots from them. Go forehead to forehead for me. Oh, I see what she's trying to do. Yeah. Trying to put the sun between them, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Just for the video, can you guys like talk a little bit? Just like, sure, of course. no, like while you're looking at each other, you know. All right, that's good with me. Beautiful. Give each other a kiss. Kind of nuzzle each other's noses a little bit. There we go. Now look. Yeah, so you're gonna put your leg up here, and then Chris, you're gonna. Like, it, move her dress to the side like you're trying to take the bouquet out. The garter? Yeah. <laughs> that's Same a sexy thing, though, shot. Woo! Thing. That's Alright, so when you... More Melissa, more look at this shot. Can I go home after this now? You know, just build up off of the photographer's hard work and ideas. I'm sorry if you're photographing, you're watching this, and you stumbled upon this video. And I'm sorry, but, you know... I'm sure you guys do what you do too. So, you know, Royal Rumble, every man for himself, you know, videographers, we, we gotta get it. So the conclusion here is it's better to steal shots than to have little to no footage, you know? And uh, remember at weddings, you know, at, at every wedding, highlight videos, trailers, snippets, all these kind of footage that you put on your, um, on your website, those are the reasons why you get booked, you know, in the, in, in the first place. So trailers, highlight videos, those are the videos. Those are the reasons why you get booked. So the better your highlight videos, the better, the more chance you have of, you know, getting more bookings. So steal those great shots that somebody else is working hard to get so that's the thing you know so you get booked off of the highlight videos so make sure you steal these shots guys don't be afraid right now as i could tell you i'm still getting bookings from videos that i did like four years ago from wedding trailers that i did four years ago you know i update my shit on youtube but hey um i barely this is a bad this is something bad guys don't follow this don't follow me on this I barely update my website. I should update my website every six months or maybe even three months with new videos. Technology that they had four years ago um, can be compared to the tech that they have now. So I recommend you guys update your websites every three months, every six months with some new content, okay guys? All these couples, they book you because of the wedding highlights that you have. So make sure you get good shots for your wedding highlights. That's why you need to steal shots. Okay, guys, and like I said, I'm still using, right now I still have videos from like a year ago, four years ago that, that are still on my website as like top four videos that get me weddings. People, couples watch those videos and they'll be like, a trailer that I did like two years ago, like, 
oh my god we booked you because of this wedding I'm like damn i did that shit like two years ago make sure you subscribe to the channel guys make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm trying to see if i can kind of hit 10k subscribers by the end of this year you know what i mean coronavirus and all this stuff just messed me up and i need some you know i'm just playing anyway thank you guys make sure you subscribe and like the video and please 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 smash the like button and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one